But I've come down to my mum's place for a few days. I've got hospital tomorrow. She's gonna take me to feed some ducks. What every 30 year old should be doing. I really believe in the healing powers of the sun. <laughs> Bees, oh son, heal my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> All I did was get out of the car and feed a goose, and now I'm back in bed. <sighs> really struggling. It's so hard when your heart is breaking every day. Just don't know how to accept my life being spent on the sofa. Like, how can I make that enough mentally? One of my family members was just saying to me, what if there's something else wrong with you and you don't have any? And you know, they've just never tested for the right thing. And then I went to hospital yesterday to see my endocrinologist about my thyroid. It's like I'm just desperately trying to have anything else wrong with me because I've got the thing wrong with me that there is no test for, no cure for. All they know is that when I was 14 I had glandular fever therefore 16 years later they're just saying yep yeah, still got me in bed all day again when will this ever end in bed all day out of bed and on the sofa pop it boring I love you I love you got your chicken soup it's raining out there got another chicken soup there coming out every orifice not to mention that way eh? <laughs> and that's that Oh. Thanks for my shopping bag. Oh. If you want anything else, just let me know, eh? Wish me luck! <laughs> so, my boyfriend is... Oh, I haven't told you. He's my boyfriend. We've actually been seeing each other for... I think it's three months now. It's official! Anyway, he's releasing a single... He's really into, like, Japanese artwork, Japanese cats, Japanese tattoos and stuff. I've been on the Google Translate, and I've translated his band name into Japanese. And this is it so far. Uh... Don't know what the fuck I'm doing. This is stressing me out. I did the painting. I'm so proud of myself. Guess what day it is today? <laughs> I love Hazel You're with right. all my heart. <laughs> Tell me. I'm so fucking lucky to have met you. You saved my life. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Mouth gender. Your girl. <laughs> this is crazy. You know, babe. Not the top, don't the top. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Oh my god! <laughs> that that's actually amazing! Here's my boyfriend! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hazel's special birthday performance. <laughs> today I felt really wired and now I really feel like I've crashed it's really hard feeling so empty and it's just this never-ending cycle of having a tiny bit more energy and doing something and then crashing and I'm trying to not do the thing so I don't crash but obviously it's your best friend's birthday you're gonna make so much effort and really try and be there it just takes it out of me so much and tomorrow is Valentine's Day I just feel like it must be so shit to date me we can't go out for dinner. We can't <laughs> go out <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> Bless him, he's gonna come and pick me up, take me to his place so I have a bit of a change of scenery and cook us a meal and just look after me, really. <laughs> and he's been so sweet, <laughs> saying that he only cares about just being with me 
I'm trying to learn to feel my emotions and then let them go rather than bottling them up. Probably takes more energy than just letting it out. <sighs> so, <laughs> I've let it out now. <laughs> my emotions, not a fart. So now I just need to be calm. I think I'm just gonna go to bed and put some Netflix on. Maybe eat some dark chocolate. Whoa, let's, let's, let's. It's just when will this ever end, you know? Hopefully soon. So today I've got my maybe fourth session with Alex from the Optimum Health Clinic. Optimum also a verbalic. We're just starting our session now. This is Alex. Hello. And I will let you guys know how our session goes. An hour in a minute, AKA long story short, still really trying to just calm my system. Today I can really feel how wired I am and how wired my system is. I can feel it so much. <sighs> really focusing on calm still taking the supplements this is like properly trying to get better long term some people are like you've been doing it a month a month and a half now and you're not better yet it's obviously not working i feel like this is us trying to get my system better after 16 years of pretty much not being able to do anything other than a very strange two years somewhere in the middle where I was much better. It's gonna take time, it's gonna take maybe a long time, maybe it won't take a long time, but just staying patient, keeping the faith. I just wanna be like so calm. I'm gonna meditate now, yep. <laughs> okay, so you know the painting I did for the boy. Framed, finished, come on. There it is. Looks awesome. Thank you so much. It's Valentine's Day, which can only mean one thing. Taking some samples of my poo to the doctor. Oh. Uh, oh yeah. He's cooking for me. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. My crisps. This is Herbie. Herbie's gonna be in my video diary. So, bear with me. I went to get my hair done yesterday. I mean, okay, it's a mess now, roots are gone. Turns out, sitting upright in a chair for a few hours, not something I can do. My back has completely seized up. I know I'm in bed a lot anyway, but I'm literally like stuck in bed now. Shooting pains in my back is so bad. Just trying to be calm about it and rest. I'm in bed all day again. So, I had an email today, they're going to use one of my covers in Love Island. <laughs> We're settled down for the evening. Nice and cosy. Gonna watch it. <laughs> Gonna watch it, basically. So, will you be my girlfriend? Yes. <laughs> um, will you be my girlfriend? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My voice on the TV. Look at you on the fing telly. On the fing telly. <laughs> <laughs> a little voice of an angel. The voice of a fing angel. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver is here, part of Alex's team, to do a bit of filming today, get a bit of backstory. We are all set up. Filming is done. Hi. Hi. We're gonna do some filming with Hazel now. What are you gonna tell him? How tired you are. <laughs> <laughs> How much water you should drink. Whoa. Mm. <laughs> nom nom. <laughs> I love you. Here's your right attention. Yeah, kiss. <laughs> Fish figures and waffles in bed. Tired. So very, very tired. So Ollie is, well, actually, let me just say that, yes, my cat and boyfriend have the same name, but Ollie, human Ollie, is taking me somewhere today for my birthday and he hasn't told me where. He brought me to a cat cafe. <laughs> <laughs> One-eyed gin. <laughs> 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 
is my birthday. Idris and Dwayne are ready, and my family will be here in a minute. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Speech. I don't want much attention, so I'll keep it short. <laughs> I would like to take this moment to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for all your love and support, and mainly to this woman. Who's known you for nine months more than anyone You've else. You've known me nine months longer than anyone else. And I know it must have been a bit, bit of a struggle pushing me out, so... It's easy after Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell. Right, well. <laughs> 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 oh. yeah. Some days I'm too tired to take my makeup off. <laughs> oh, that's not my hand, by the way. <laughs> my manly hand. <laughs> <laughs> so I have somebody to take it off for me. Oh, my hands are like. <laughs> <laughs> It's the day after my birthday and I'm having some friends over this evening. I don't know whether to cancel. I feel so wiped out and I know that doing this this evening is pushing through. That's the one thing I'm trying not to do. <laughs> oh, I just hate it when my body feels like this. But it's so shit to feel so bad from having some family around for an hour yesterday. I think that's one of the things that really gets me. It's, it's not like I just ran the marathon and I feel like this. Fuck sake. Ended up cancelling my birthday gathering tonight. I feel gutted. Everyone was so sweet and understanding. Just been crying my eyes out all night. Which is probably not helping. And just... I don't know how to cope sometimes and how to just keep going, keep picking yourself up, keep fighting. Things aren't going too well. Just feeling completely wiped out, really tearful. <laughs> Hoping I can kind of pull myself mentally out of this to then just cope with it better. Um, session with Alex a bit later today, I messaged him saying that I just wasn't really coping. It's like having the tools and knowing how to get yourself out of this mentally. Just kind of don't know why I can't do it. I've kind of lost all motivation. <sighs> kind of just feeling like I can't do it anymore, so... The irony. <laughs> Another day, resting, being looked after, feeling like a burden. I just don't know if I have the power within me to change this illness or influence this illness or get better. And I don't like the pressure of, like if you had some other illness with some treatment, you take the treatment, you get better or you don't. It feels very pressured on what I do, whether I get better or not. February is done. <laughs> I am done. See, I had a session with Alex and it was very much just, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay not to be okay. Sometimes. Yeah, uh, it's okay not to be okay. Let this one happen for a bit, not be too hard on myself. So I'm gonna try and just be kind to myself. And I've just been editing this video diary and it's something that really helps me mentally because I think we tend to naturally, if I was gonna look back over this past month right now, I would just see all the crashes, how I feel now. And when I watch my video back and do editing, you know, there are good moments in my life. I have amazing people in my life. It really helps me to see that. I know at the end of the last vlog, I asked you guys to send me any questions for a little Q&A at the end of this vlog, but but my head's not in the right place, so I'm not gonna put pressure on myself to do that. I hope you guys are proud of me for that. I'll do one in the next one, hopefully, so if you have any questions, pop them in the comments. Your support is amazing, it really keeps me going. If you watch this and you wanna help me raise awareness of invisible illnesses, chronic illnesses, MECFS, share it, share it in your stories, helping me massively, hugely appreciated. Yeah, let's see what March is gonna bring.